you see this green flower here and you look in here look at those juicy pistols right there those those are connected to the ovary that's where the seed is at this little brain looking structure around it is actually a bunch of tightly packed anthers at the end of the stamen so right now the female part of the flower is sticky and ready to receive pollen meanwhile over here oh actually on this one the female part is still ready to receive pollen but you can see those anthers have gotten a little bit farther they're yellowing up they're starting to ripen let's see okay this one's passed so this one's already released all of its pollen uh, see these anthers with a little bit of dusty white on there so you can take that and then find one like this that still has the um that still has the pistols that are ready to receive but if i take pollen from this tree and put it on this pistol it'll be like nope that's my own pollen i'm not going to receive it you have to get it from another tree and so if you're living in a if you're like you know backyard townhouse kind of situation what you would want to do is plant a seedling let it grow for a while then graft a couple branches on from some other trees then you have genetic variability on the same tree in one location and your tree doesn't need to take up much more space than this you can control it by pruning look at these pruning cuts here it responds very well 